In this video, I'm going to show you how to hook up a NASA flight controller to an AR-8000 Spectrum receiver. And for my remote control, I'm using a DX8. And you can use a DX7. It's just that you'll lose the third auxiliary channel. And when we're done, this switch will be used for your flight control. So GPS, uh, attitude, and uh, manual. And this one will be used for course lock, home lock, off, just no girl lock on there. I, I can't seem to figure that out. It might help me. And finally, I have the auxiliary 3 channel for gains. So that's how it's going to work. And I'll also show you the fail safe uh, once I'm done the wiring, so because that's pretty important too. So you get these little servo cables, and sometimes you get a little clip on the end like this. And unfortunately with these receivers, it's kind of hard to put in there. You can't really get it in there. So, what you can do is just get these toenail clippers. And you can just clip it off. And now, now it'll go in. And it'll work. So that's what you do if you can't put that tab in there. Okay, so A goes into either one, E goes into elevator, T goes into throttle, R goes into rudder, and this is where, this is the important part, so just pay attention to this. This, this gear channel I don't hook it up to this controller because the gear channel is only a two-way switch. We use these other three because if your quadcopter has GPS and you want to have course lock and home lock and all that stuff, use these three. So this is how we do it. U goes into I just have to remember auxiliary one. Okay. X one goes into auxiliary three. Okay. And X two goes into auxiliary two. So that's the setup right there. Okay, so now we have this VSEN LED unit that comes with the NASA controller. And we got two wires sticking out of here. And there's one that's kind of bigger and one that's kind of smaller. So the small one we take in we put it into the gear channel. Okay, so now the spectrum receiver has power. And we take this big one and we plug it into the LED. And now this VSEN is the red and black wires that come out of it are hooked up to my flight uh, power board, power distribution board, and I soldered it on there. The best place to put it is just where you actually power the unit. So, this is your orientation of your quadcopter. This way is forward. 
So you have M1 right here, M2, M3, and then M4. And these are, all these are ESCs. Okay, so they should have servo cables coming out of them. And they'll have a black and red wire that you'll have to solder to the board. So let's hook these up to the NASA controller. Start with M1, round wire on top. M2, M3, and M4. So if you have a GPS unit, you hook it up into this one, this top one here. And another step you want to do is just make sure you have your antenna plugged into your receiver. This is a DSMX uh, antenna. So I got everything hooked up now. Now I'm just going to hook up the battery and uh, we'll set that preset uh, fail safe. I got the bind plug already in the AR8000, so let's hook up the battery now. You'll see that the receiver and the satellite are blinking really fast. So at this point, make sure your remote is still off don't have that on. Take the bind plug out. And now this is where this is the important part. So just make all your switches are in zero position, off position. And now when we bind this, whatever input we have on here, that's what the fail safe is going to be. So when it loses signal, and I bind it at 100% throttle. When I lose signal, it's going to go to 100% throttle. So I only have, I don't have my GPS on here. So what I usually do without the GPS is I put my throttle to it about 35%. Because then the quadcopter will come down. It's not going to shut itself off. It's not going to fly really high or anything like that. It's just going to come down at a slow pace. So. Let's bind it. Now let's turn this remote on and let's hold this trainer on. And it'll say binding. Just keep holding that button, the trainer button. Okay, now it's connected. I can turn my throttle down. And that's how we do that part. So one of the things I'm going to show you, it's the last thing I'm going to show you, is that if your flight modes are not working, it's not switching, and your course lock and home lock are not switching, there's a way to fix that. There's a setting we have to change in the remote. So let's turn it on. You can have the quadcopter off when doing this, it's fine. I'm going to go into that model. Servo setup. It's under travel. We'll uh, just go to auxiliary one. And it should be 84 and 86. And how you switch, you get from 84 to 86 is just we flip this switch right here. And that's how you get switch between them. And set them. And the other one is auxiliary 2, same thing. 
and this is a good setting for the DX8 it usually works after that so you go into your DHEI NASA software and it'll show you if you are really are switching or not from your different flight modes and that's it so if you like this video subscribe to my channel and I'll get more into GPS mode and how that works and I'll also get more in depth about the DJI NASA software okay thanks for watching